This is the second part of the stylized barrel tutorial, in which I'll show you one method of creating metal hoops using geometry nodes and the hero module. Let's turn off the barrel for now and add a Bezier curve object to the scene. Add a new geometry nodes tree to that curve. Each curve object has a resolution parameter, which is very important for the curve's smoothness. We can control it from geometry nodes with the set spline resolution node. The curve to mesh node will convert your input curve into a mesh with a chosen profile. The curve line node is perfect for our needs. Let's set the Y axis of the start point to 1 for now to see our profile. We can control the spline resolution with these numbers, but it's an integer and not precise. So I'm adding the resample curve node and placing it before curve to mesh. Let's also change it to length. I'm adding a value node so I could control the height of the profile from a single value. To ensure the height extends equally in both positive and negative directions, we should have this value. With a combine node, we can use our single float value for vector input. Connect it to the y-axis socket. For the start point, I'll need a negative value, so I'll multiply it by minus 1. Let's check the result. We'll need another value node for the length input and one more resample node to control the vertical resolution. Connect the value node to its length node as well. Now we have a nice, even grid along the whole curve, which is helpful for displacement. One little thing to improve is that height value can't be less than the resolution, so let's fix it with a switch node. I'll compare both of these values, and if the height is less than the resolution, then the switch is true. The resampled curve will go to the false input, and the default curve with just two points will be used if the condition is true. Let's check the result. If you want to control these values for each curve individually, you can promote them to the group input. Now, I have these values in the modifier tab. Let's create an actual path for our hoops. I want to use an arc curve, which is not available by default. To have it, you should enable curve extra objects from the add-ons menu. Add it to the scene, set 360 degrees for the end angle, eight for the sides. A negative value for the start angle will determine how much the two ends of our hoop overlap. Set the pivot point to the 3D cursor, which is in the center of the hoop. We can scale points out to form a spiral shape. Then, scale the whole thing down to fit the barrel. Add as many hoops as you like. Add a geometry nodes modifier to the first curve and select the node tree we created at the beginning. You can use the copy modifiers command for other curves. 
adjust the tilt amount for each curve. Afterward, we can correct points to make the hoop fit better to the shape of the barrel. Don't forget to place the 3D cursor at the center of the curve you want to edit. resolution and add the hero node. You can use the hero displacement node on its own without remeshing the object. Just make sure you have enough polygon density. For the metal dents, the Voronoi texture is the right choice. It will look like marks from hammer work. Try different values and adjust the scale of the texture to have the look you like. For the thickness of the hoop, I'm using the Solidify modifier. Then, simply copy the modifiers from the first hoop to the rest, using the Copy Modifiers command as before. Adjust the point's position if needed. For the rivets, I'm using simple cylinders with a beveled top edge. That's it for the stylized barrel tutorial. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments or on my Discord server. I've left a link in the description. Subscribe to the channel for add-on updates and more tutorials.